another week of uni! So I'm at uni extremely early, this is probably the earliest I've ever been, it's half past seven now. I usually get here for eight, so if it's quiet inside I'll do a little vlog of what's inside my uni because I don't usually film inside because it's a bit disrespectful I think to other students filming and stuff like that and then I'd have to get consent and it's yeah it's not worth it so here's my uni it's a beautiful day and we've got some nice um, poppies on the hill look how nice it looks and that's the new building that they've built on it's quite a nice building to be honest inside We finished for the day. We finished early. We finished at half past three. I'm chuffed that I finished early. Whoop, whoop. As much as I love learning, um, sometimes it's just nice to get out and enjoy this beautiful sunshine. So I'm on my way home. I've been, I've picked up some chicken for dinner tonight and when I get home I shall tell you about my day because walking and talking just don't mix for me so um, I shall speak to you in a minute. That's it. I'm back. I'm home. I'm relaxed. Oh, it's so nice outside. I've just opened the door, so if you hear any background noise, that's probably what it is. I'm sorry about that. I've got some amazing, exciting news for everybody. So I'm going to start off with that because, yeah. So, as you know, I am the health editor of the magazine at university now, and I've been looking at doing some articles and things for the magazine. And one thing that's come to Birmingham, um, some of you might know, some of you might know, I'll not know. I'll post a link below to it. It looks amazing. There's this thing called Real Bodies UK and it is at the NEC Birmingham. It's a massive event. It's basically, a, it's a bit gross to some people I think, but for us as student nurses I think it's amazing. But it's basically human bodies that have been preserved and there's parts of the bodies on display and things that you can look at so you get like proper inside um, view of the human body, which I think is amazing. Some people might think that's gross, but as a student nurse when you have to learn anatomy and physiology and then to actually see that anatomy and physiology in real life that's amazing so i wanted to do an article on it i emailed somebody <laughs> and i said i really want to do this press release um i've got the magazine i'm going to write an article on it i really want to spread the message it looks amazing i think it's going to be amazing could i have some tickets because i'm a student come on <laughs> everyone loves a freebie so and surprisingly literally the next day today they have emailed me back and they've sent me an invite for a private uh, private um sorry i'm getting excited i'm so excited so uh, i'm gonna get a private viewing on thursday evening i can speak to the ceo why isn't this amazing? Why are you all screaming at your screens? This is amazing. I'm so excited. So I'm going to go there Thursday. I'm going to get some pictures. If I can take some video clips, I'm going to take a video clip and um, just give you a little bit of inside info on it for another vlog. And it will all go onto the magazine and I'll show you some little bits in a vlog as well. So it's going to be exciting. I'm so excited. I can't believe I said yes. What other events can I go to? Come on people, tell me. What other events would you like to see? What would you like inside info from? 
Oh, I'm gonna have to have Google. Um, okay, so back to reality. Today I had three lectures. So the first lecture was all about collaborative care again. So it's just building on the um, lectures from last week sort of identifying a problem so if a patient comes in identifying an actual problem that they've got that you can solve or help them with and then identify from that potential problems in the future that they might have that they might need referring to different services for or future help from somebody else it's a potential problem that might happen in the future or near future or tomorrow that you need to refer them on to somebody else so that's collaborative care working together in partnership for the need of the patient basically so that was nice and we did a little bit of group work so we sat in groups and talked about different things and different barriers to caring for somebody so our second session was all about empowerment and how us as nurses can be empowered ourselves to then have a knock-on effect and empower our patients and we talked about what empowerment actually means to us and we sort of came around to an overall sort of our own de definition that it's given somebody the information so that they can make an informed choice for, the se for, for themselves about their lives, about their health, about anything. So that person is in the power and giving the power back to the people. That's what it's all about really. Um, making sure our patients are empowered and that we're not just taken over and you know I've seen it before on board sometimes because you're in a rush and something and you think oh this will be quicker if I just do it so not me personally but I have seen that on the wards and someone's done it and I thought why have they done that um, but it's just because they're, they're so time consumed that they just haven't got that time so but then that's actually disempowering patients it was all about giving the power back to the patient giving them informed choices so that they can make a decision about their lives basically and we talked about how you know that somebody's empowered. So we talked about they'll actually be engaged, they'll be asking questions, we'll know by the result or outcome, have they made that decision, have they not, was it a good decision? So overall, the empowerment lecture was really good. That and the collaborative care one was really good, especially for our assignment that we're writing, the 2000 words on dementia, because this is what we're going to need for the assignment. And we're going to have to go really in depth and find all the research on it to write a good assignment so fingers crossed that'll be a good one and then our last session it was literally group work with the poster so we just met up with our poster again and just if the lecturers were there if we wanted to ask questions so we got some of our questions answered because there was a couple of things that we were just a bit unsure of so now we've got clarification we can put it into our poster and then we can get practice in our poster for the process presentation on the 11th of July in case I haven't told you already but no I did but 11th of July is the deadline. It's when we're going to be doing our poster. Um, yeah, that's it. So I've had all in all today has been a great day. So tomorrow I'm off. Ooh, ooh. I'm going to go to the beach ooh, ooh. because it's going to be a lovely day. I'm off. Me and my partner are going to go to the beach. We're going to take my partner's mom. We're going to have a great day. I'm going to go outside and enjoy the sunshine while it lasts. It's beach day. It's Tuesday, it's a little bit cloudy, but it's going to get nice later apparently. It's going to be 19 degrees, it's going to be a mixture of cloudy and sunshine. Um, it's 8 o'clock in the morning still, I'm freezing so I've put my hoodie on. So let's see what today brings.